can explore what happens in type one because it really does depend on what kind of person you are and how your type one diabetes evolved and developed. If you have an interest in diabetes and you wanna keep up to date, then subscribe, share, comment, and like this page. So I'm just gonna plot a simple graph here where we're looking at insulin production on one side against time. And if we imagine that a person who doesn't have type one diabetes is producing 100% of their insulin needs. And so in producing 100% of their insulin needs, something comes along that produces pancreatic trauma. Now that could be immediate. And that would be something like if your pancreas is removed, and that often occurs if people have chronic pancreatitis or trauma or pancreatic carcinoma. So the more typical person who has type one diabetes has a very sort of rapid onset that, that takes weeks to months to develop. And in this situation, the pancreatic trauma that occurs is related to antibodies production. Often it follows a viral infection. The body produces antibodies against that virus, but unfortunately the antibodies also seem to uh, look for the specific cells in the pancreas that produces insulin called beta cells and it destroys them over time. And people in that situation would develop symptoms over weeks to months where the pancreatic trauma event occurs and very quickly insulin production falls very dramatically. So symptoms start uh, quite quickly and, and uh, it becomes quite obvious. But there's another group of people with type 1 diabetes who have a very slow progression of diabetes. And they are often misrepresented and thought of as having type 2 diabetes because it evolves so slowly that their diabetes control can actually deteriorate over years rather than weeks. And so our classic description of someone developing type 1 diabetes over weeks doesn't quite fit that mold. And this group of people are often missed and are often treated with insulin very late. And then the final group of people that we see who have an, a pancreatic trauma event are people who have, for whatever reason, a small self-limiting event which takes out a percentage of their pancreatic production. So it may be that a virus comes along, the pancreas is affected, it takes out 20% of beta cell function, and then they recover. And it may be that they end up still producing a decent amount of insulin and can have uh, a great result with a small amount of insulin to top them up. It may be that they have 50% production of insulin, or it might be that they even have 20 or 30%. But this group of people continue to produce insulin um, forever, and their short-term self-limiting illness kind of resolves but leaves them with an ongoing permanent reduction in insulin production that requires them to manage their um, insulin deficiency with insulin in the long term. If you found this video helpful then please subscribe to the channel so that I can keep you up to date as all the new videos come online.